Hello brothers and sisters, this is Lisa and I'm here to share a couple of devotionals with all of you. The first one is titled The Deceiver and these were posted November 13th, 2019. An amazing fact. When it comes to disguise, octopuses are the ultimate chameleons. Thanks to special cells in their skin, they have the ability to change color and texture, assuming a thousand combinations. In the blink of an eye, they can fade into the sea floor, appearing to be just another bumpy rock. One Pacific Ocean octopus has earned its name from its incredible ability to transform its shape. The mimic octopus has been known to imitate everything from giant crabs and fish to sea snakes. One clever species will even take up residence in a vacant clamshell and use the suction cups on its tentacles to slowly open and close the shell. It will then wiggle the tip of one tentacle like a little worm to attract hungry fish. And whoosh! The octopus will jet out and seize the unsuspecting victim. Among the most flexible and versatile of all God's creatures, an octopus can squeeze into amazingly small spaces to hunt or avoid predators. They've been known to hide themselves in soda cans and aspirin bottles. This ability to fit into tight spots pays off when hunting, as octopuses can chase small crabs, shrimp, and fish into tiny cracks coaxing them out with their long tentacles. The Bible tells us that when Jesus' disciples asked about signs of the end of the age, Jesus said, Take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will deceive many. Mark 13, verses 5 and 6. One of the signs of Christ's soon coming is the work of the deceiver, Satan, who will pretend to be the Messiah and call people to follow him. If we study our Bibles carefully, we will watch and be ready for it. God will give us eyes to spot the master of deception, no matter what shape or color he makes himself into. We need not fall into his, tra his traps. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 3 And the second one I'd like to read out to all of you is titled, God will help his people. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea, and a path in the mighty waters, which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah 43, verses 16 through 19. The time has come when, as God opens the way, families should move out of the cities. The children should be taken into the country. The parents should get as suitable a place as their means will allow. Though the dwelling may be small, yet there should be land in connection with it that may be cultivated. Parents can secure small homes in the country with land for cultivation, where they can have orchards and where they can raise vegetables and small fruits. On such places the children will not be surrounded with the corrupting influences of city life. God will help his people to find such homes outside the cities. Let everyone take time to consider carefully and not be like the man in the parable who began to build and was not able to finish. Not a move should be made 
but that movement and all that is sorry that it pretends are carefully considered everything weighed to every man was given his work according to his several ability then let him not move hesitatingly but firmly and yet humbly trusting in god there may be individuals who will make a rush to do something and enter into some business they know nothing about this god does not require think candidly prayerfully studying the word with all carefulness and prayerfulness with mind and heart awake to hear the voice of god to understand the will of god is a great thing and that is the end of the devotionals i pray you all will have a beautiful day in the lord and i will see you either next video or in the air bye bye